Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 4.0.2. In the last week, I've had several people contact me and tell me that their Neo Geo will not work, their Neo Geo emulator. Today I'm going to show you how to get it working. It's very simple. First, on your Raspberry Pi, you need to make sure that you are connected to the internet. Then you need to make sure you have a controller set up. And that's pretty much all we need to do with the Raspberry Pi. We're going to be moving over to the PC and I'm going to transfer my ROMs and my Neo Geo.zip BIOS to the Raspberry Pi over network. I don't use USB transfer. This will work the same way if you're using a USB stick method. We're going to the PC now. So I'm here at my PC. My Raspberry Pi is connected to the same exact network as my computer. That's the only way we'll be able to transfer ROMs over network. I made a video on how to transfer ROMs using a USB stick and how to transfer ROMs over network. I will leave a link in the description. You can click on that, find out how to transfer your ROMs over USB or over network. First, most important thing with the Neo Geo is the Neo Geo.zip. This is the Neo Geo BIOS. It needs to stay zipped, leave it compressed, and do not unzip the BIOS or the games. All the games need to stay in a zipped format. So make sure you have your Neo Geo.zip BIOS and your games. Do not unzip them. Next thing we're going to do is open up another Explorer window. Now this can be any Explorer window. You need to go up to your quick access bar. We're going to type in backslash backslash RetroPi all capital. Press enter. If the backslash backslash RetroPi does not work, you will need to find the IP of your Pi and put that in the top quick access bar. Backslash backslash 192-168-XXXX, whatever your IP address is of the Raspberry Pi you're running at the time. They need to be connected to the same network in order for this to work. So here's our BIOS folder and here's our ROMs folder. First thing we're going to do is open up our BIOS folder. I'm going to take my Neo Geo.zip BIOS and place it inside of my BIOS folder on my RetroPie. We're going to back up one time. We're going to open up ROMs. We're going to scroll down until we see Neo Geo. Open the Neo Geo ROMs folder. It's empty now because we're about to place our games inside of here. Now I have always placed my Neo Geo BIOS in here also. And that's the way I do it. I put it in the BIOS folder and the ROMs folder. So I'm going to take my Neo Geo BIOS, Metal Slug 4, Magician Lord, King of Fighters 98, and Blazing Star. And I'm just going to drag them over into my Neo Geo ROM folder. Now what this is doing is transferring them to my Raspberry Pi's SD card. Because it's still running in the background and connected to the same network. Now that we have ROMs in our Neo Geo folder and our Neo Geo.zip BIOS, plus in our BIOS folder, we have our Neo Geo.zip BIOS in here also. You need to make sure this is here. Only thing we need to do now is go back to the Raspberry Pi, do a quick reboot one time, and we can start playing some Neo Geo games. We're going to be moving to the Pi now. Okay, now that we're back at the Raspberry Pi and we've transferred our Neo Geo.zip BIOS and our games into the Neo Geo ROMs folder, we're going to scroll over and we don't see Neo Geo here. That's because we need to reboot one time. Press start on your controller. Scroll down to quit. Restart emulation station. Press yes. Now we have our Neo Geo's logo on the front menu. We'll go in here and I have Blazing Star, Magician Lord, Metal Slug 4, Neo Geo BIOS, and King of Fighters 98. I always put the Neo Geo BIOS in here and I've never done any different so I'm not sure if it works any other way. Let's start Metal Slug 4 and see if it works. You get the flashing screen. 
If you press select on your controller, you'll insert a coin, as you can see at the very bottom right hand corner. I have seven credits now. I'll press start, and we're about to play this game. It works very well on the Raspberry Pi 3. And as you can see, it's running pretty good. This is non-overclock stock Pi speeds. There is a little bit of lag because of all the sprites going on and explosions. It's, ooh, that sucked. It's not too bad though. Start and select will exit you back into the emulation station menu. We can start another game. We'll start Magician Lord. Now you'll always get this flashing weird screen here, like on every Neo Geo game. It'll load the Neo Geo BIOS here. And we are now playing Insert a Coin by pressing Select, press Start. And it's time to destroy some evil creatures. Really awesome game. I just uh, made a video on this one on the NVIDIA Shield. So that's it, guys. Start and select. Bring you back out. We'll go to King of Fighters 1998. Weird flashing screen. And it's time to insert a coin by pressing select. So you may run into some compatibility issues. I have been unable to get Metal Slug 5 running on the Pi 3. Other than that, I have tested, I'd say, close to 20 games and everyone worked except for the Metal Slug 5. Start and select to go back. And that's it, guys. You are now running Neo Geo on your Raspberry Pi 3 with RetroPie 4.0.2. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have any requests, also throw them down there and I'll try my hardest to get something made later this week. And like always, thanks for watching.